Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is No Time. And today, I am so excited because we're going to start doing some things that, well, I've just been so excited for. I think we're going to meet Mim soon, or something is going to happen about Mim. And it's all thanks to my nephew, who is so much better at this game than I am. So I sat down with him the other day, and he's playing through the game, I've mentioned this before, but he's playing through, and he's pretty much gotten to the same spot as me. He's beaten the game, he's doing the uh, post-game stuff, he's doing the epilogue, and he's gotten to this point. And the reason why I wasn't able to uh, proceed is because I haven't gotten the letter or the key yet. And that is because I still have a quest that has not been uh, completed. This right here. I got this quest a long time ago to get the blueprints. I thought I had gotten them all and the quest was just like, you know, going to sit there forever. But apparently not. I had missed some. And I don't know why, but they only show up at a particular time. So he was trying to tell me where they were and they just weren't on the rooftops where he was describing. So I thought, hmm, what if I jump into the future a little bit? So I'm in 2020 right now. The quest here says 2014. This one says 1984. So I was in 2014 trying to find these, but in 2020, that's when they actually show up. I don't know if like, that's actually when the shop was raided or something, or the shop wasn't raided in 2014. Maybe it was raided in 2015, because I played a lot of the game in 2015. I don't know what the heck was going on, but I have the blueprints right now. And I also know, well, that looks interesting. That looked like the dimension box, which is a recipe I already have. But I guess that's probably not a dimension box. And that's something else. So I know what I have to do on this next part, but I also have found all the blueprints now. I should have, I think that's all of them. So I'm gonna, ah, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna go talk to Ed. Hello, Edward. He's got a question mark. Hey, found the other blueprints. At last, now I'll be able to sleep more easily. Who knows what would have happened if had someone found these plans. Oh, by the way, this letter is for you. Oh, what? I wasn't expecting any letters. I'm lying. Hmm. Suspicious letter. What could it be? Now Edward is all right, is he not? I wrote you this letter to guide you away. Don't end this now. Do not destroy the machine or all will be over. You still need to know the secret. Have you gathered up all the time fragments? Mim. Oh boy, oh boy. Things are happening now, guys. Also, I made a dimension box. My nephew also told me that this is like the best thing ever. Cause look, it's just got so much inventory space I don't have to worry about my trunk being all cluttered anymore. I've got all my stuff in there. You know what? I'm going to put this in there too. Open the... Whoopsie. Nope. Open the dimension box and boom. Away she goes. Well, that sounds like I need to... Uh, I need to uh, build a thing. Whoops. Well, hold on. Hold on. Wait, what's happening? Mr. Mr. Crafty, come here. Uh, so I know what one of those blueprints is, my nephew told me. I have to find all the time fragments. And one of those recipes should be something that will help with that. Uh, fragment checker. There it is. What is this? I don't know. Probably nothing. Uh, come here, Mr. Crafty. We need to go shopping. Those are supposed to be some of the tunes that are aged like fine manure. You know what? I don't like... I don't like manure. I don't like the fine tunes. Excuse me, madam. Let me place my goods upon the floor. Copy machine. Copy any item and paste it back in. Wow, that sounds kind of cool. I might want to make that later. That's the other thing that I got that looks like the dimension box. What is it? Um, a fragment checker. There it is. And craft that thing. This should be able to locate time fragments for me. So there's two of five in 2010 to 20, 2030. And it tells me how close I am. There's a lot of fragments to get. That's gonna be a lot of jumping around. Please don't give me a parking ticket. I didn't know this wasn't a parking zone. What do you have to say? What was in it? 
just weird rambling. Are you ready to dismantle the machine? Remember something. By the way, if you haven't yet, go to Lou. He might need your help. It's important. He's usually somewhere around the town center. Uh, 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 hold on there, Edward. Hold on there, Edward. Wait just a minute there, Edward. Hold the phone, Edward. My man. Let's not be too hasty. Like, I'm not here trying to, you know, side with Mim or anything. Ooh, baby. No, 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 no. But also, don't you think that we should hold off just a little bitch? You know, Mr. Crafty, you can you can live. I've got lots of, oh my goodness. I've got lots of space in the back of the car now, so you can just chill. This might take a little while, but I really feel like I want to do it right now. So I'm gonna try and do this as fast as possible. There's a lot of time fragments. But, I think we'll be able to do this with this locator. So we're getting further away right now. Oh, I can see it. Oh man, that's really, really handy. And... good. Let's just grab this guy. Oh, hold on, hold on. See, I could have been grabbing these the whole time, but I was holding off thinking, I have no idea what they are. So now I know what they mean. Okay, so there's... oh, there's one over there. I can see it by the billboard. Oh, I thought I jumped off my lava board for a second there. And I was very concerned. Okay, proximity 10%. Let's go... Okay, so it's this way. I can see it. I can see it in the woods. Dude, this makes it so easy. This is gonna be the last one for this time. And then we can jump to the 1990s. So this is the furthest ahead in time that we can find these guys. I guess there's none in the future city. Right behind uh, Crabman's house. I wonder if he's still here. Five of five fragments fixed. I wonder what those mean. What are they? What do they do? Hey, Coco Crab Man. He is still here. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Oh, boy. Once you go bisque, you can't resist. Oh, you know what? You're starting to win me over, bud. I think I understand the Coco Crab business. All right, let's do this quick. We need to, we need to move so that I can hopefully get to more things today. Because my nephew is, uh, we're trying to do this together. So I need to, I need to mush. Where'd my car go? I'm going to leave one save, that is the backup, on this time. And I'm going to set another save every time I jump. So I need to pull this out. I need to go to, um, uh, I need to go to 1990 to 2010. Okay, doesn't matter what date. Doesn't matter what time, 1990. We pull out this thing and then we go. Proximity, 9%. We gotta get a move on. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it through the trees. One more down. I don't think I've gotten, I've pretty much gotten no others other than the ones from like 2014 and stuff. Oh, there's three here. Yo, that's sick. I guess there's probably Wait, do these happen around the events of the time? Because, like, I spent a lot of time in this village here. That's interesting. I wonder what they actually mean. There it is. Nice. Well, that's 4-4 four, four here. That was quick. Okay, let's go to the next time. Next time would be 1970. Okay, and it's still raining. Boy, we're on a hot streak. <laughs> I really hope I don't get struck by lightning or anything. Okay, let's land it down here. Boom. We're gonna need more fuel after this one. Let's pull out the lever board and pull out the thing. Not Edward's laser, this thing. Proximity, 0%. Uh, it also looks like I skipped over a date. 1970s to the 80s. I went the wrong way. That's fine. I guess I'm super far away from these ones. Let's uh, just motor around a little bit till I get some beeps. I'm not getting any boopage. Ah, now my thing is ticking up. We've got two here. Give me that. Give me this. This is close to By Road. Not exactly sure what this little town is, actually. No, this is By Road. By Road just got an upgrade. That's three of three. All right, back to the car. Since we skipped over a day, because looking at it's really hard, we go to the 80s now. It's cool how I'm just slowly traveling back through time. Oh, no rain. Good. 
Finally! I can breathe a sigh of relief and not have to worry about getting struck by lightning. Let me just park over by Bill. There we go. And pull out the thing. And this thing. Alright, we're close with this one. Oh, it's right here. Uh, oh, there's two. Look at that. There's three. One. Uh, well, two. <laughs> a three, four. Look at that. I'll bet this is the time when we were doing the thing in the school, the planning. I'll bet that's it. I'll bet that's it. It might not be, but it... Blah, 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 blah. Next, we have 1940. All right, off we go. Oh, I'm looking at the evolution of Bill's garage as... Why are you outside? I guess he didn't have a garage at his garage at this time. <laughs> okay, uh, this thing, this thing. Where are we? Zero percent. Okay, guess we gotta travel. Is that one in the distance? Maybe. I do think that is one, yes. Yep. Alright, we got the location. Is this the Viking settlement? It's close to the Viking settlement. I don't know. I get these places mixed up a lot. It's by this great big compound. I don't know. I don't know what significance this place had. Let me have it. One of two. Only two in this place. Let me guess, it's this way. Tis indeed. By this uh, suspicious mansion. Hmm. No location. Meadery. Looks like a hobbit hole. <laughs> Gonna be honest. I think that's what it's designed after. Hold on. Okay, it's, it's definitely here. Boy, it got foggy all of a sudden. Where is it? I should be able to see it right now. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's number two. And away we go. Next up, 1915. Okie dokie. There you go. The car overheated. Oh my gosh, I should have been sticking to my saving. Ah, oh, that's a load of garbage. Well, I'm back to 1970 because of whatever that was. Did I seriously not turn on the cooler? What's wrong with me? Okay, it's fine. I know where these ones are. It'll be easy. And just like that, we're back where we were. Okay, uh, not even a problem. Just a minor setback. Back to 1915 this time. And we're gonna save on the new back. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Three, proximity 80%. I like to hear it. I see one over here. Alright, so right in town. One. Oh no, bandits! Ah! Here it is, in the pasture. Or behind the church. Two of three. Where's the next one? 98. 97. 98. Oh! Is it in the- Oh, it's in the sewer, isn't it? Ah! I hear you. I hear you. Aha, <laughs> in the interrogation room. Nice. Okay, that's all of them here. That one got a little bit confusing, but Perseverance is my middle name. Could even be my first name. I don't know. Ah, I'm stuck on the door. Perseverance will get me through this door. Oh, get me through that wall, too. Well, that's all for here. Now we're going to the 1800s. 1880, to be exact. That was not noise. Don't know what it was. Don't care. 1880. Where are we looking? 87%, love to see it. Love to see it. I should be able to see it. <laughs> I guess it's this way. 87, 88, 89. Nine, there's a one. There's a one right here. And boom, two of four. So I had one here. Where are the rest of them? Still 86, okay. Okay. 91. 91, 90, guess it's this way. 92, 94. Oh, in the barn? In the barn? In the barn. That was correct. Last one. Proximity zero. Is it down by yonder bridge? No, it's not. Oh, it's right here. By the bandit hideout. Oh, is this the time when I was here with Westwood? Not sure. But it would be, uh, 
It would make sense if it was. It sounds to be about the right time. I don't know. Yeah, it is, isn't it? 1880. Yeah, it is. Ooh, cool. So it's going back to all the things that I've just done. So doing those things must have created some rift that created the time fragments or something. I think that's what I'm gathering here. Is that what Mim wants me to understand? That like I've actually done something bad and now I can go back and fix it? My goodness, I feel like I'm betraying Edward, guys. I'm working for Mim. Edward wants to- get back here! Edward wants to destroy the machine and Mim's all like, nah, 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 nah. And I'm on his side at this point. 1790, 80, 90%. Oh, it's right here. Right here. Give me that. Two of three. 66, okay. We can deal with this. Not that way. Wait, why do we have so many barn fragments? What happened in this barn? <laughs> That's another barn fragment. Stupid barn, let me up. Well, there we go, that's all of these. We're almost done, guys. Making incredible time. Next on the docket, we've got 1640. The second to last one. I see one in the lighthouse, making it extra bright for me. Perfect. Oh, I passed over one too. Oh, there's one over there. Didn't even see it, this one is just too... Okay, actually, you know what? I was wrong, that's just the lighthouse. <laughs> Oh, goodness, it looks exactly the same. Well, no, it actually doesn't. You know what? I'm just a fool. I'm just a fool, you know? Pure and simple. One and two. Is this from the pirates? Maybe. Except I don't think the pirates are actually here at this time. There it is. Oh, this, this must be when Westwood escaped. Or when we escaped with Westwood. You know. You know that time. That, that crazy time. Give me that thing. Okay, good. One more left. The last date is 1550. 61%. 59. Okay, this way. This way still. Back towards Fort Dunn? I suppose this is like the only civilization that was around here. Oh, look, there's one. There's on top of the mountain. Okay, there's one there. I don't know if that's... Oh, there's one here. Oh, there's one here. There's one right here. Oh, is this like... No, this isn't it, because that was way in the future. But this is the path we took. <laughs> To, uh, hey, who are you? Oh, he's just beating up a wolf. I don't know if you're gonna win there. Especially, maybe he is. Daniel Clyde! He T posed him to death! I've never seen strategies the likes of this before, but that was incredible. Daniel Klein is next level. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, this is uh, the second to last one. Let's just grab this and then. Two of three. Where's the last one? 60%. Oh, I guess it's in here? In the waterfall cave? Probably. This Is this the hillman? I'm guessing it's in here. I mean, I'm at 90%. Ah, there it is. This is it. This is the final one. The final time fragment. I kind of don't want to be on my jet board just in case something happens. Whoa. Ah! The meta key is right here in my hands. And a letter. Good job. Here's a little treat for you. A key. Don't lose it. Finish all the side quests. Hope you help Luke in 2014. Finish them all. I have a connection set up which will give you the next clue. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I guess the next step is to give the key to Fred. But it's Fred. I don't trust Fred. I trust Edward. I trust Ed, not Fred. I don't know if I can give the letter to Edward or the key to Edward. I don't know if I should, because would that like stop the progression of the story? <laughs> it's possible. Okay, hold on. We're gonna put the letter away. I'm gonna keep the put the fragment thing away because I don't know. I don't. I don't need it anymore. I don't know if this is actually something I can do. 
But I'm gonna try. Edward, what do you think of this? I already dismantled the machine. By the way, you haven't yet got the loop. Okay. No, he doesn't do anything about the meta key. Okay. What is the time for Radio Fred? 2022. Okay. Okay. I guess it's time, guys. Nothing else to be said. Let's give this key to Fred. Boy, I'm on point with my rhymes today. I don't like where this is going. I don't like it. Uh, maybe I'll just read my PLC entry. Radio Fred. Fred spoke of the meta key. I should hand it over to him based on a letter from Mr. M, which Edward supposedly gave me. Well, that doesn't really tell me much. I already read that. I'm really low on hunger. I'm so hungry from running all around time. Alright, well, this is it, Fred. I suppose we're gonna be going down this road. I think it's the only road I can go down. I'm actually nervous. I don't want to hurt Edward, and I feel like this is betraying him. Because I know that the time machine was like, you know, it did a whole lot of bad stuff. But also, you know, it's the only time machine we have. And he wants to dismantle it because, well, dismantling it would fix everything. But at the same time, okay, Fred, it's time. Fred, my dude. Fred, my guy. The last elevator ride. Shaken up like a... Whatever gets shaken up. Paint a can. Paint a can. Oh, there he is. Fred. Fred. Good. The interview should be... The interview should buy out the next year. Be sure to check it out. You meet me in 300 BC at the caldera. At the mountain. How are you gonna... How are you... How are you gonna get there, sir? Everything clear? So you're a time traveler. No more talking. Let's meet there. Dude, you... You lied to me! Oh my goodness, things are getting so real right now. I need to grab myself a snack. Can I please buy a snack? I need a snack or something. Give it to me. I'm so hungry. I gained fat. That's no good. But you know what? I gained energy, and I'm happy. That's all that matters. Sorry, everybody. I'm parked in a really bad spot. Do I have fuel? Yes, I do. Okay. 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 Zero, three, hundred. I've been ever curious about what this area is, the caldera. But I guess it's involved in this. Oh, boy. This is so intriguing. I don't know when the last time a story of a game has enthralled me so much as the story of no time. From start to finish, it has been an absolute page turner. Is he here? I don't know if he's here yet. Maybe I'll just park my car. Uh, park my car and, uh, well, I'll probably give it a little old save. You know, backup 3 hasn't seen much love. Here we go. My saves are all over the place, but that's okay. Does the meta key unlock this place? Well, I'm here. But Fred is now. Where is Fred? 300 BC at the caldera on Mount Uruhu. He did mention a drawing there. Maybe I should inspect it. He's a time traveler. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but he told me to use Edward's 300 BC chip. The Mr. Crafty should have a building plan for it. Oh, do I have to use that chip? Maybe I have to use that chip. Huh. Okay. I guess that's something I can do. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. I guess... Me hmm. Oh, hey. Oh, it's a Gobo! <laughs> I've been told that Gobos spawn all over the hills in this particular time. Ow! And I'm starting to not feel so safe in this safe house anymore. Since it was a gift from Mim. Where the heck is my safe house? <laughs> it's so hard to find it. I really should use one of the other layouts. They're so much more consistent. My nephew showed me one. 
They're really cool. You can like make it have like a little island and stuff around it. Instead of just floating in midair. But not today. We've got other things to attend to. I know I have gold bars sitting around, but I don't know if I have a circuit board sitting around. I might though. Gold bars? Any circuit boards? Any circuit boards? No. I don't know why, but things feel oddly tranquil right now and like, you know, oddly quiet. I don't know, there's just this weird feeling that some horrible thing is about to come crashing down. Oh, this this is my second jam. Look at that. Hear them bongos? Yeah. That peppy piano. Boy, oh boy. Okay, uh, Mr. Crafty, we need miscellaneous. Uh, circuit board two, circuit board, there it is, circuit board two. Goodbye, music. And then, here we are. 300 BC override chip. Craft it. Uh, okay. Well, this is it. This is it. This is it. I've said that before. My well, fusion cell has... Why do I have just a... I don't know. doesn't matter. I don't need it. Just put that there. Close it up. We're gonna save again. On backup three. And then we're gonna go to Caldera. Bouncy, bouncy. Let me click the button. And 300, 300 BC chip. I'm gonna get these mixed up, aren't I? That's fine. So this sets the date for me. This will absolutely be the right time. So here we go. Oh boy. BC eras. You managed to override the display to send you to BC dates. Whoa, okay. What is happening here? Whoa. Is it a volcano? Yo. Dude. Okay. That's sick. Ah. Go down, please. My goodness. This hover car sometimes is very unwieldy. And... Whoa! Alright. Alright, fine. Just keep on going. Uh... Gonna save again on... Back up three. And I guess... Let's see what's going on. I think I... Yeah, I think I saw Fred. Maybe I didn't saw Fred. Okay. Well... This is crazy. So with this chip, it sends me to a very specific time. What's sleeping? I don't know. Is Fred gonna show up anytime? Um. Wait, wait, wait. They're not the same person. That's Edward. Why do we have this victorious music playing? Who are you? Was this- wait, was Edward working? Edward, what is going on? Hey buddy, what's going on? Well this is a long story, but to tell you in quick, I am from the year 2023. Me and my friends hoped you didn't need to pull you into this. Initially the plan was to destroy the Mac 3 and handle the rest ourselves, but obviously things did not go as intended. Why didn't you tell me? The reason why I could not tell you anything is specifically to do with the problem of how things already went haywire when we split ways back in the 80s. See, Crimson has made us an even bigger problem when we fought him during the Time Wars. What problem? Mim. Please elaborate. Up to now, our adversary has been Crimson and his evil time agents. Sometime during the events of our adventures, Crimson tried to undo our ongoing victory against him. He decided it was best to eradicate our continent of Antilia and the surrounding seas, eradicating any chance of us existing in the future to foil his plans yet again. I know, I know, he could not have, result it, he could not have resulted a more ludicrous strategy. He wanted to blow up the entire continent. Quite literally. In fact, he tried it twice. Once before the discovery of this continent, but he may, but me and my friends have found out about it before he could do any damage. Then, if you know your legends and history, when Lord Dunn fought on the plains of Lakiwia and the great thundering ships were seen on the horizon, strange stone-like mechanical creatures 
That was not his f a figment of his imagination. I was there to protect Lord Dunn. Up to this point, us Crimson wanted to eliminate him as well. In Crimson's timeline and in this one, and both, with the help of this group, we fought him and Crimson in the 16th century. In the end, we defeated Crimson, although Mim remained. What's the deal with Mim? Someday he was a simple miner from the past, a mercenary. What matters is this, that Crimson accepted him into his ranks. What he hadn't considered is that Mim may have turned out to be too smart for his own good, so Mim turned on Crimson. He deserted Crimson, taking some of his time equipment. This is where we come in. Now Crimson has been stopped for good, but Mim started taking on interest into the inner workings of space and time, so he started spying on me and you back in the 80s when we were testing our time machine. He used my research to create a space gate and was able to set up base of operations somewhere in the Ape Head Star Cluster. What? He stole some of our equipment. He obviously was up to no good, and I knew that it was basically my fault to begin with that he was here. Stopping work on the time machine then and there would have done nothing in preventing all of this. So I had to engage him first. He remain you remember these rifts in time. Well basically Mim concocted a weapon capable of shooting space time holes. So I was sealing up space time holes. During our fight, right before our Mach 3 was successfully tested, I pushed him into one of these holes, which were caused by his gun. I thought that he was gone for good, but somehow he managed to get back. He survived the time reset at the end of our adventure, when I died. He still remembers everything as we do, though his retained memory is more com explicable than ours. Okay, I know. In one timeline, you came to me with the meta key. But ha it's not happened in this course of events, which is why Fred requested the key. The key marks the location, his base of operations, and is supposed to be used as a pass to, to get into his base. We think Mim lost it during my battle with him when he got sucked in one of those fragments. Pause and thought, now I need to introduce you probably to our crew. Please, I know most of these fellows. I probably know the robot from some time. Fred, you already know, as well as the Cocoa Crab Man and his nephew. Oh, hello, hi. <laughs> EE77, here was a capture and reprogram bought from Mim. With his help, we were able to get some intel on Mim doings. Okay, there's another one called Nazano. He is currently not disposed. He is spying on a servant of Mim. Okay, and our seventh member is missing. He couldn't bother to show up as usual. It's the burger head guy. <laughs> Never mind him. <laughs> And now you are our 8th member again. Sorry that I kept this from you. Oh my goodness, I wish I could have been involved with this from the beginning. But at least now I'm part of the team. You could have just told me. I I don't know, it's complicated. I was afraid I messed up too much and the things were supposed to play out already. And again, this just shows how convoluted everything gets due to me simply having invented something as simple as a time machine. That simple time machine messed everything up. To sum up... What is this situation? Crimson was defeated. We don't know where he is or how he got defeated this time around. And all that's left is Mim, who's back from the turmoil of, his, of uh, our time adventures. His motives might be unclear, but it means, but his means are not good. Have you got the blueprint for the unknown destination ship yet? I've got the chip. All right, then get everything ready. We will meet you there. If by chance you land in 4000 BC for some reason, take the chip out and back in. That should make it work. Meet you there. There? The safe house, to mention, of course. The one I made! I knew it! We'll be waiting for you there! Alright, see you there! Alright guys, let's take, let's take back our safe house. Wait! Okay, bye guys! Oh, my goodness, I'm so pumped right now! Yes, the gang is back together! Edward wants me to meet him in the safe house, to mention, I'm supposed to use the chip for the unknown destination! Let's go! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy that Fred turned out to be on the right side and I'm not betraying Edward. Let's go! We're gonna, we're gonna bring the fight to Mim. I lost some fat too. Give me that stupid chip where you got other places to be. Safe house chip, insert, and reactor on. I'm out of fuel. That's fine. Perfectly fine. Perfectly acceptable. And boom, we're not out of fuel anymore. And off we go. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm finally going to be able to have Edward at my safe house. Yay, I won't be alone with that stupid whatever his name is. Hiya. We're here. Together. Together, my friend. You and me. Fighting the time agents and now Mim. What an exciting journey. 
Let me just lean for a quick. Hold on. Wait for me. Don't start the party without me. I see you guys down there on the platform. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Don't let me lay it on. Hold on. Calm down. There we go. Nice. Open the reactor core. That's fine. All right. Let's do this. Let's talk business, guys. Come on. Come on. What's the plan? What's the plan? Here we are. All of us together. Who's this guy? What? We got you, rascal. You're going nowhere. <laughs> you think you're so smart. Glitches. S -s smart Wait, he's not real. Sir, this one shows no life signs. He's a hologram. He's back there. Get him. Whoa. Get him. Get him. Quick, before he gets away. Get him. He teleported. No, we missed him. Oh, no. Well, at least the safe house is ours again. I had my doubts about that guy the whole time. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was, I was right about him. What is going on here? That was not a friend. He's a spy of Mim. In one prior turnout of events, he introduced you to Mim. You turned evil somehow. Whoa! There's an evil version of me running around. I built this place. It is basically a time bubble. Technically, the outside environment around this place could be anywhere, even in the middle of Pine Lake. No one would notice it because it would be outside of the time space. Time runs always forward in here, so you would not worry about running into your past selves. Mim took control of this place, however, and he had his spy guarding this place. That's why we had to come in force to take it back. We're safe now, right? For the present, perhaps. Mim is hiding somewhere in the ape head cluster. I'm currently aware of the star system where his main base is. Where is Mim? The system designation is Du Utu. So how do we get there? It's not that easy. His system has a dimension gate, which allows us to get there almost instantly. However, it is locked. Only a select number of systems have gates, which are whitelisted. He has a dimension gate. Evidently, you've already been here, and I built the dimension gate. And you built the dimension gate. Yes, I have. We will have to find a space gate on his whitelist in order to infiltrate Du Utu. Uh, find a planet which has one of, the, one of his star map towers. I already found one. It also is a data center for all of the MIMS agents... Which one of them in our hands we will be able to ask him for the whitelist? I will do that! Whoa! Good, once you find a lead, head as fast as possible back to me to be continued in part three of the epilogue quest. Are the planets on the other side? Not really. The best planet comes as close to habitats as the planet Mars and Zor system. Don't forget to have an exosuit ready. It should have been one of the blueprints that got lost somewhere around the behind. Get an empty HVD, insert into the PLC, create a new file named startup EEE, -E -E, and cite it, write this into the first line. This will send you to 2014. The value works as follows. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. This is like, this is the control manual for the Stargate. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy right now because I just finished the third, I just finished act three. I wasn't thinking I was going to get to act at the end of Act 3 before Act 4 comes out, which is in the works. Oh my goodness, I'm finally caught up. Guys, this, this absolutely is going crazy right now. But I've been recording for an hour and 21 minutes, which is a little bit longer than I usually do, and I've got to get to other stuff. So I don't know if we're completely done. I feel like, I think... An update was a little while ago the updated space and like the planets have more stuff on them now but it doesn't lead into the next part yet but that's in preparation for the next part so i think next time i'm gonna go check out some more space stuff and uh that's gonna be super cool but that will be for next time and until then i hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of no time if you did leave a like and if you haven't already and you would like to you can subscribe to see more no time and all the other things i post right here on this channel and as always, guys, in case you don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.